Papua New Guinea Country Profile Capital, Port Moresby Population, 8,776,109 Total size, 462,840 square kilometers World region or continent, Oceania Type of government, constitutional parliamentary democracy Languages spoken, Melanesian Pidgin serves as the lingua franca, English spoken by 1% 2%, Motu spoken in Papua region. Independence, September 16, 1975, from the Australian administered UN trusteeship. Roman Catholic 22%, Lutheran 16%, Presbyterian slash Methodist slash London Missionary Society 8%, Anglican 5%, Evangelical Alliance 4%, Seventh-day Adventist 1%, other Protestant 10%. Indigenous beliefs 34%. Currency, Kina, PGK. Papua New Guinea is located on the eastern half of the island of New Guinea. New Guinea is the second largest island in the world after Greenland. People have inhabited the area for thousands of years and even today the country has over 850 different languages and cultures. Archaeological evidence suggests humans first arrived in Papua New Guinea by island hopping over the Indonesian archipelago from Asia around 60,000 years ago. Papua New Guinea used to be part of a prehistoric supercontinent called Sahul. It was composed of present-day Australia, Tasmania and New Guinea before they were separated by rising sea levels around 10,000 years ago. Spanish and Portuguese explorers came upon the islands in the 16th century. Papuans were plausibly the world's first agriculturalists. Archaeologists have discovered evidence of gardening from up to 9,000 years ago. The name Papua was given to the land by Don Jorge de Menezes. It is a Malay world describing frizzy hair. Later Inigo Ortiz de Reitz named the island New Guinea as the inhabitants reminded him of the people from African Guinea. The area was colonized by the Germans in the north and the British in the south in the late 1800s. In 1873, British explorer Captain John Moresby surveyed the southeast area of New Guinea and founded the capital city, Port Moresby, naming it after his father. The Japanese invaded the island during World War II. The two areas joined together after the war. Papua New Guinea became an independent country in 1975. Papua New Guinea is home to at least 750 tribes. Around 80% of Papua New Guinea's population reside in rural areas with few or none of the facilities of modern life. Many tribes who live in the isolated mountainous interior have little contact with one another or the outside world. As such, many live within a non-monitorized economy dependent on localized farming. Papua New Guinea shares the world's second largest island, New Guinea. New Guinea is split almost equally between Papua New Guinea to the east and Indonesia to the west. Discounting continental land masses such as Australia, only the island of Greenland is larger. The kink or bite in the international border between the two countries is a result of headhunting, the practice of taking and preserving a person's head after killing them. In 1893, the area was awash with headhunting and the British, who controlled the southeastern quarter, found it difficult to combat due to the then vague border with the Dutch-controlled West New Guinea. The border was adapted allowing British authorities to patrol much further without having to cross international borders. Some of the world's most recent cases of cannibalism were reported in Papua New Guinea. During the 1960s in some villages among the four tribe, a recently deceased person would be cooked and consumed. It was considered an act of love and grief. At the time, Experts suggested the cannibalistic practice led to a mad cow-like disease that was causing the death of up to 2% of the population every year. This practice has now led to the four tribe developing genetic resistance to the disease. As recently as 2012, 29 people were charged with alleged cannibalism in Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea lies on the Ring of Fire, an area prey to volcanic activity. Recent eruptions include Mount Tavuavur in 2014, Kedovar Island in 2018 and Mount Alon in 2019. Papua New Guinea is the world's most linguistically diverse country, with nearly 850 native languages spoken. Papua New Guinea is a world-class birding destination and is particularly famous for the colorful birds of paradise, Paradisei. The national bird is considered sacred by some Papuan tribes but it is under threat from illegal trading, 
taxidermy and poaching. Papua New Guinea is one of 17 megadiverse countries in the world. Megadiverse countries are the world's most biodiversity-rich countries. Tree kangaroos can be found in Papua New Guinea. In 1990, a new species of tree kangaroo, the golden mantle tree kangaroo, was discovered in Papua New Guinea. In Papua New Guinea's Sepik region, young men cut their skin to resemble crocodiles in a scarification initiation rite. The men slice their backs, shoulders, and upper torsos with razor blades to leave long raised welts resembling a crocodile's hide. Shell money, known as taboo and formed of small shells threaded on strips of vine, is still used as currency by the Tolai tribe of Papua New Guinea. It is exchanged to mark births, marriages and deaths. During the 1930s, Australian gold prospectors famously discovered around a million people living in the remote valleys of the New Guinea Highlands. Until then, white colonialists had deemed the area unsettled, but it turned out to be the most densely populated region of the country. One of the world's only known poisonous birds, the hooded pitohui, can be found in Papua New Guinea. Its feathers carry one of the most powerful toxins known to science. Mumu is actually a way in which Papua New Guineans cook. Although now there are ovens available in some households, the cooking mumu style is a tradition that still continues today. The typical mumu is a pit that has fiery hot coals placed inside. Banana leaves are next and then the food. The food is placed with root vegetables and starches like plantains on the bottom, next the meat then the fruit, followed by leafy greens. The whole thing is wrapped up further in banana leaf to make a steamer environment inside the package. Some tribes cover the top with soil and for some that is taboo. Some mumu is cooked dry while others are cooked wet with coconut milk. Like, share and subscribe to Sidra's Lifestyle.